Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly reading for the end of June. I do apologize if you hear the air conditioner in the background. It's like a 95 degree day, in my house anyway, and I have to have it on. So please bear with the, the, the mild sound, okay? This is for the sign of Aries. Generally my readings are love re readings. You know, just take what resonates and leave the rest. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, however you want it. This may not resonate with you. You know, really keep that in mind. It may or it may not. We're going to get one of these. We're going to get one of these. And if they flip out while I'm shuffling, you get to see it now. Otherwise, we reveal it at the end. If you'd like a reading, the information is below on how to get one. Stay tuned for uh, my six-month forecast readings. Those um, will be on Vimeo for 10 bucks. It's July through December. Home, finance, work, and love is what those are going to be about for all six months. Those will be done by the end of June. And I will I'll post a preview. This is for the sign of Aries. I almost looked at it. I almost got lucky. Aries, end of June. Generally, my readings are love readings. Just saying, in case I didn't say it. Woo! One with this one. <laughs> ace of wands this is beautiful ace of growth ace of passion ace of ace of excitement so this this could be a new passionate start okay this can also be that fire within you being relit okay you guys may have a new spark you could have a new partner whatever this is it's exciting there's a new exciting opportunity okay it's like there's a new fire that has been lit. And this fire could have been lit under your ass for that matter. I mean, I don't know what it is, but this is a, a new spark, okay? Four of Cups. Somebody is or has been unable to accept love or even notice love or hasn't been getting what they want in love. Not seeing it. I don't see it. Not interested. Not interested in love. Lack of hope in love. Aha. I don't have faith in love. Because I'm still holding on to something. I haven't released. I haven't released something. I'm still holding on to hurt. I'm discouraged. I'm you guys are discouraged about love about you know love period still holding on to something it's getting old it is getting old oh look at that oh god come on now you've lost your concentration you've lost your focus you could be angry angry about a, a love situation that didn't come or a love offer that didn't come or a rejection upset upset over this lack of love that you didn't get but you have a new opportunity you do like I said you have a new opportunity here it could be a new partner it could be something that's very exciting you, you know, it's whether you stay stuck in this mindset or you move forward. You continue to stay discouraged or do you work, do you take the steps to the future? Do you take that step? You have to make a decision. You have options. Do you stay stuck? Do you stay where you're at or do you move forward? What's it going to be? 
many of you have been waiting, you've been restless, you've definitely felt a lack of contentment, a big time, both of these are lack of contentment you, and discouragement, I've been discouraged, I've been, I've been restless and angry and upset because of some love, love offer that didn't come or wasn't accepted. It's time to take action. It is. It's time to take action and let that go. Release it. But you're still holding on. Act now. Think later. Take action. Forgiveness is needed. Forgiveness is needed here. It's time to shed the past. Many readers will say this is a second chance. And in some, place, some instances it's not. But I'm not going to lead you guys to believe that. Because I think in this case you need to release something that is dead. And you haven't been. It's time to take action. It's time to accept the truth of this situation and stop being angry about it. I'm sorry for my tone, but I'm not. It comes with the reading. I'm sorry. It's time to relight that fire under your ass and move away from this restless, discontent situation that you've been holding on to that has caused a lot of discouragement and anxiety and insecurity within you. You have a new path right in front of you if you would just take the next step and take some action, Aries. Let go. Release it. Stop sacrificing yourself needlessly for a dead-end situation. I think you guys have a new partnership waiting for you. You do. But you're still playing tug-of-war with your heart. You're reluctant to move on because you, you feel like... You know, there's still some room... There's still some uh, uh, room for a new beginning here. There isn't. There isn't. I feel like you have a new opportunity, a new path that's waiting for you. If you could just forgive, accept the truth, release the past, and move on. I feel like you guys are going through some sort of an awakening. You may receive some epiphany, some sort of enlightenment that allows you to take action and move on perhaps relief is coming okay it is because the five of the five of wands reversed is relief that's the outcome relief is coming it is but it may not be what you think it is it may not be you what you think it is it may not be that person that you think is coming back for some of you. I think for some of you, it's a dead-end situation and you're refusing to let it go. For some of you, it's time to let it go. That's not for everybody. For some of you, there could be a new offer of love in which you, are, you don't even see, you don't even want because you're still discouraged. You, you're just angry with whatever. Love, period. But anyway... There is an opportunity for growth here. I think a lot of you have been going through a period of growth. There's a lot of fertility. You're still changing. You are. Even though you are probably resisting it. You're probably resisting this growth. Holding on to something that is dead. Some of you. Your challenge position is, about, is taking action. Take action. Act now, think later, take action. Right now, you have a new opportunity. This is right now, right now. You have to make a decision. Do you stay stuck in the past or do you do move forward? Many of you have, have lost your focus. It is time to accept the truth. It's time to wake up. It is time to wake up. We're going to get some clarifiers here. Right next to you. You guys, it's destiny. It's destiny. It's destiny for you to release the past. You think about Judgment Day when you go to, because this is the Judgment card. You think about your Judgment Day. Judgment Day, you're releasing all your past. You're re you, that's what's happening. You, there's, there's a, there's a, a contract that you involved yourself in that wasn't meant to be. 
Okay, it wasn't meant to be. It was karmic. It was. It was karmic. There's a karmic contract that has come to an end in which you are refusing to let it go. You're refusing to let it end. It's time for you to take action and remove yourself from this less than harmonious situation. Start and make the decision. Right now, you're, you're, you're very indecisive. You absolutely are. You need to make a decision. You need to make a decision to either, I mean, to move on. You're indecisive. When the fact of the matter is, I think that you know that you need to move on from whatever this is. This is whatever this is that's, ma that's making you angry. Something is making you angry and upset and you'd like to take back control of this situation, but you can't. It's out of your control because it's destiny. You can't, I mean, destiny is destiny, right? It is. There's conflict, okay? There's conflict here. This is a karmic lesson. I, I already knew that. One phase of your life is coming to an end. It is one major phase. This is a major arcana. It's the last card in the deck. One major phase in your life is coming to an end. It's trying to. It's trying to. But you have to take action and let it end. There's a major new beginning right in front of you that is very exciting and fertile. But you have to take the step. You have to take the step, Aries. So I feel like this is a week of, of trying to make a decision or make it, take action. That's your challenge. Your challenge is about taking action. And some people are still connected to people mentally and emotionally. There is something in which you need to really step over that finish line. This is the last card. This is the last card. It's the end. You need to. As soon as you step over that finish line and do not look back, that's when you will start to find relief. You do have a major new chapter. Major. Okay, a major new chapter waiting for you in the future. You're about to embark on a new journey. You are. Something that is bringing you closer to your life's purpose. Some, this, is a, this, is a, this is good luck. Okay? I feel like, you know, God's rejection is your protection. It is when the star card reversed. It is. But you are refusing to let go of this rejection. You're refusing to let go of this past. You're holding on to something that is dead. Your challenge is about moving on. It is time for you to step over that finish line and start this new life. Advice. Except this is the advice position. Accept the truth. Accept the truth. Wake up. Release the past. Release the past. Release it. Mentally, physically, emotionally, release it. Stop holding on because it's not serving you. The death card reverse is holding on to something that is dead. Advice. Accept the truth. Wake up. Stop trying to make something happen that isn't going to happen. Stop compromising your own peace and harmony. That's what's happening here. You are making yourself, your equilibrium, unbalanced with these extremes of going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I want this person, I don't. I want love, I don't. I, I do, I don't, I do, I don't, I do, I don't, I do, I don't. It's affecting you. It is, it's affecting you in a negative way. You are destined to end this contract. Let it go and step over the finish line and start a new journey. You are destined for something new. Something that is more fertile, something that is more exciting, something that is more passionate. That's what your destiny is. 
but you're letting your your own whether it's addictions or thoughts or whatever it is hold you back okay things you're you're letting your own inhibitions hold you back refusing a renewal refusing refusing to let yourself heal living in anger and upset if it's not anger it's upset but you you're destined to move on from this situation whatever it is this is a, was a karmic contract karmic contract that was a lesson a karmic contract lesson life lesson and you're being called to now release it except the karma again judgment is a karma card as well we have judgment and destiny right here this is major 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 look at the major arcanas major 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 changes are coming for you major major life changes major change is right around the corner if you would step over that finish line you have learned something big a big karmic lesson has been learned here I think it's about letting go another major I didn't even point to this one another major okay it's about letting go it's about letting go that's a major karmic lesson, being able to let go of something that doesn't reciprocate. Oh, jeez. Um. Yeah. Yeah. It's time. It's time. To remove these obstacles that have held you back. Clear away those mental obstacles and step out of this trap that you've been living in. It's karmic. You've got to learn this lesson. You want to continue to suffer? Stay here then. That's up to you. You have an opportunity for something much, much, much better. Major change is right around the corner for you, but you're going to have to let go. You're going to have to let go. The resentment, the restlessness, the indecisiveness, the clinging, the fear, and the past. You've got to let go. You've got to. Somebody, you, Some of you could be trying to escape reality. I mean, look at these. You're trying to escape the reality of this situation of this contract that isn't meant to be. You have a major new beginning right in front of you, Aries, in which you are being called to step over the finish line and start a new chapter in life. But in order to do that, you do have to let go of yourself and stop sacrificing yourself needlessly for a situation that is dead. And that's sacrificing your mind, sacrificing your time, sacrificing your energy. There's no new beginning to whatever this is that you're holding on to that's causing this restlessness within you. You have a new beginning, which is new with a capital N, capital E, capital W, new. Whatever you're holding on to is getting old. It's not happening. So anyway, Aries, I feel like this is a week of, of starting a new chapter. Probably towards the end of the week, you may decide to take action. And, and drop it. And stand up for yourself. Stop holding on. Restore your faith. And take the next step on your new journey without this karmic contract holding you back.
This is a card of forgiveness as well. Forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Oh, son of a god. Whatever. I mean, come on now. It sums up the reading. You have a new partner, and you do. You do. A new spark, a new partner waiting for you. But you got this thought that this person that isn't reciprocating is the one. It's not. You have somebody else. And that's what the lover's card says, too. You have somebody else that is better suited for you, but you're hanging on to the wrong one. And it's not about the cards. I'm also a channeler. So I'm just telling you right now, you have somebody else. The one that you are hanging on to that is not reciprocating is not the one. Uh-uh. Nope. It's somebody else. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. You know who this person is. But it's not the one that you are holding on to that isn't reciprocating. It's not. It's not. And I know you, many of you are going to continue to think it is. It's not. You have, And I knew the words that come out, those are from spirit. And I said new in capital letters. I haven't said that to anybody. Those are messages from above. You have somebody new. This is for people that are single. If you are a couple, there could be there could be a completion. There could be, and I'm sorry to say that, a completion of a relationship. Because I mean, there is a, there's an end of a contract here. There is an end of a of a of a of a partnership here. There is, in which somebody's moving out of it. I don't want to be in this anymore. I can't be in this anymore. So there is a completion of a, a karmic contract here that isn't meant to be because there's somebody else. Anyway, that's what I have. I wish you the best. I do apologize if this is not what you want to hear because I know many of you are holding on to something that is not real. And I'm here to um, help you. end this mental turmoil. Talk to you later.